Hello everybody, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. We're about to fly, I think, probably to here. Uh, because I want to use this mace on some, uh, some things. Like, uh, perhaps some people. <laughs> For one, we're missing a little bit of blood here. Uh, so we can test it out on maybe this gentleman here, if he was willing to cooperate. Wow, that is uh, actually pretty effective. Those guys are usually a lot harder to uh, to take out. Um, but yeah, no, somewhere down here, uh, I believe there are two things that I want to check out. And this is not one of them. Um, I'm trying to remember where it is. Is it this way? I'm actually going to get into wolf form here. So that we can move a little bit more uh, speedil speedily here. <laughs> Um, what do we have here? Is it this way? I also wonder, you know what? Can I bust these up? Doesn't look like I can, unfortunately. But I think this is where I want to be. For quick, uh, we might be able to get to that... Uh, that one door that I was trying to get in that I thought maybe opened at night. Somebody mentioned that it does open at night. It opens very specifically at midnight, or I guess when the moon is full or something like that. So I'd love to be here when uh, when that magic happens. And it is the right time of day, so if I can get my ass up this goddamn hill. <laughs> I'm just going to hang out here for a bit. See if maybe this thing will uh, open up for me. I actually don't know if the phase of the moon changes in this game or not, now that I think about it. Uh, or if it's just, um, you know, uh, it's always full moon or what. <laughs> but I uh, don't think we have too much longer to wait here before uh, the clock changes to what I think will be midnight. Well, I stood here all night, which is only a few minutes, but um, it did not open. So maybe the, the phase of the moon does change. I'll try to pay attention to that. And uh, we'll see if we can come back maybe on a full moon. And uh, see how that goes, because as it stands now, we've been here during the day. And uh, it does not open. I also cast a light spell, just because I was curious if it would actually work outside. I don't think I tried that yet, and uh, it does work outside. But uh, it seems that there's really not much of anything for us to do here, so uh, I want to go see if we can track down some of those places uh, where we could use the uh, the mace. I'm going to assume we probably can't do anything in here uh, still. No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Uh, that's what I want. Hail, stranger. What can I get you today? Good day to you. Yeah, all right. Not really anything uh, of note happening here. So we'll uh, just top up real quick. Whack that guy maybe and get a little bit of magic in case we're a little bit low. And uh, we'll get the heck out of here. Oh, and then run into the water immediately, of course. You can probably solve that real quick. So somewhere up this way, we uh, were finding, I think it was actually up past uh, the uh, the Gypsy Village. We were finding some um, blocks that we could bust open. Just going to try to ignore all of these guys as best I can here. Don't think that there's much of anything that we really want to do with them. Well, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, I think I think we want to go this way. I'm having a hard time remembering, actually. Yeah, here we go. This is one of two places that I recall distinctly where uh, there were some items that we could grab. How many hits is it going to take? This guy's actually quite uh, quite tough. I guess uh, the mace is only for bonking guards on the head or something like that. 
But there are some items up this way, so we'll uh, we'll grab what we can here. And uh, at least for now, we're not uh, or we're not going to make it any farther in that direction. I don't think. I think it would be pretty foolish of us to uh, to attempt to run past all that water. I'm curious though. Does this uh, stay busted? It does. Good. All right. So up here, then here's the Gypsy Village. Okay. Oh, there we go. We actually stunned this guy much sooner, and we uh, didn't even kill him when we uh, when we had him all wobbly and shit. So uh, it's good to know. All right. Uh, we are going to meet some villagers up here, so I think I'll do one of these just so we can walk by in relative peace here. But I do think that, um, I don't know, does this work? Yeah, it does work. Um, I think... I think we want to go this way, maybe. I can get past this guy. Yeah, there is, uh, actually, I didn't even remember this one now that I think about it. We'll deal with this gentleman here. See how many hits it takes. Quite a few, apparently. Well, that axe is actually doing a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm just now noticing. Yeah, these guys are still extremely tough. I don't even know if I'm doing anything to him. Do I need to switch up my weapon here? I hope not. Apparently I do, because <laughs> this is not this is not doing anything. Um Flay. the Pentalich Flay. Spiked iron iron sword. by the Serio. There we go. There we go, finally, holy shit. Took forever. Um Iron Spiked Mace. Let's go ahead and get this going again and bust this up. Uh I wonder if he has anything to say that's uh, particularly interesting. I heard there was a bandit camp to the north of here. Ah, not particularly, no. Some kind of uh, alchemist man, apparently. There's not really all that much in here. So I think we can drop the disguise. And top ourselves off a little bit here. Let's see what we got in uh, these. We got one of these spells and another one of those. What about this thing over here? Doesn't seem uh, like we can do anything with that. There is actually this room as well. I suppose I can try talking to this lady, but I'm not expecting much. The nights can get very cold around here, stranger. I can help you get through it. Yep, I'm all set, though. Thanks. Oh. Appreciate it. Alright, I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think there's really much of anything else we can do here. Just, uh, a little, um, a little bit of extra stuff for the road, I guess. Um... We can actually try one of these, maybe. On this guy. <laughs> Alright, that is pretty effective. Does that hurt us? No, it doesn't. Good. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, in the meantime, I think we want to go... to the, uh, the left here. So I thought that there was another... Oh, we're stuck. Um, I thought there was another thing. There we go. Maybe we have to get like a bunch of consecutive hits in at a certain range with the mace for it to uh, truly be effective. Not really sure. 
But anyway, thought that there was another one of those things that we could break over here, and indeed there is. Would you look at that? Probably don't want to get stuck in here, although... Maybe that won't be so much of a problem. Oh, no, they left. Well, that solves that, I guess, doesn't it? Is there anything else? I think that was it. So I'll probably end up going into, uh, into bat form here in a sec. And uh, we'll just go back to the uh, the other side of town. I guess I could save while I'm uh, in the area. There's not really anything else in there that I need to worry about. Ow, ow, ow. All right. So, I think the plan is probably, well, I guess it's kind of a wash, isn't it? But I guess I'm going to go back here. And uh, get a little blood. And uh, then I think I'm going to wait a sec and uh, just see... Uh, I'm going to wait and just see if uh, it's going to be a full moon, because it is going to be dark fairly uh, fairly soon here, and I don't want to be too far on the road. I guess we can actually check this out, too, now that I think about it. So, um, why don't we come in here and see if this mace works on these. Oh, it totally does. Nice. I guess we'll explore this place. Look at all that shit up there. That's awesome. Shut up, nerds. Trying to loot the room. <laughs> Is this going to be like a whole dungeon? I, I kind of hope not, because I do want to get outside when it's dark. Now look at all these goodies. That's awesome. And I guess that's it. I guess this is just a place where we can come and top ourselves off when we're uh, feeling a little hungry. So now that we've looted this, and I'm very glad that I did decide to come back in here, um, I think that uh, I think that we will uh, wait outside for a bit. There was another cave around here somewhere, I thought. But I don't think that was anything particularly special. We can't move this yet, right? Yeah. It's going to be... Something we're going to have to wait for. Yeah, what was in here? I forget. The blood of ages ah. flows so sweet. Come drink from us. Uh, no. That blood is black and gross. I think we're all set. Instead, I'm actually gonna... Yeah, I do need to come back down this way. Now that I think about it. And the music's actually... The music from uh, the Blood Fountain, not the outside music, which is interesting. But uh, we do need to come down here. And uh, make our way back to, uh, to that door. I suppose. And if it doesn't work out, then uh, I don't know. I'll uh, continue, continue on my merry way, I guess. Uh, once, uh, once I see what, uh, what the night looks like. Oh, shit, check it out! <laughs> Full moon and the door is open, let's go in! What do we got in here? What is that? I don't know if that does anything. Awesome. Seems like we got ourselves... Uh, I don't know, there's somebody moving around there. Is this like a little dungeon we got? Is this the bandit hideout, maybe? That could be. I don't think so, though. Although these guys are bandits. Anybody else home? Just, uh... Friendly neighborhood vampire knocking. Yeah, I think we gotta get a double hit to stun people with the, uh, the mace. 
Single hit is not going to do anything. It literally may actually do nothing. Like if I hit him... Does... Does nothing. But... Go boom... Oh, actually, no, it does do something. Sorry, pal, my mistake. Huh. Well, there you go. More questions answered. <laughs> Take some of this stuff, though, for the road. Never have too many of these. We might start using some of these because we do have quite a lot of them. Quite a lot indeed. Can't do anything with this either. I think we've seen a door like that before anyway. Uh, and it's just part of the uh, part of the scenery. Yeah, in fact, there's another one right up there. Hello, my friend. Bop you on the head. Drink your blood. Goodbye. I guess this is the bandit, or, well, maybe not the, but A. A bandit hideout. Without question. Oh, well, we gotta be careful. There's a knife throwing guy down there. A couple rocks that we can move here, too. So if we hadn't gotten that strength upgrade, then we wouldn't actually necessarily be able to finish this place. I don't know. Ooh, there's a couple more guys down there, even. They are very dangerous, it seems. Okay, there's a lot of guys here. There's a lot of guys. Holy crap. Uh, time for... <laughs> time to use some, uh, some resources, I think. That didn't even really do all that much. Better still. There you go. Put some of that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that works. That works a lot better. Anybody else want to dick dick around with me here? I will make you inside out. It's going to be gross. Nice, some upgrades for health and magic. Got a new rune even uh that we're working on now. All right, let's be cautious with uh this situation here. So these guys throw two uh, things at once, and then they stop. No, they don't. Ah, but I snuck by him. There we go. Tough getting those two hits in. Here we've got one of those that we just used. Another one that we used. We did use a few of those in here, but that's okay. We do have quite a few of these hearts as well. Which is good, because, uh, you never know when we're actually going to need those. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, that's water. <laughs> um, guess I should have uh, been paying a little bit more attention. But anyway, we looks like we've cleared this place out. So we can, uh, we can get the heck out of here, but... Yeah, I'm glad we, uh, glad we had a chance to, uh, to explore this. So this, um, I guess may end up being a little bit, uh... A bit of a, a short deal here, but uh, I think next up, we are uh, going to continue down the road and sort of try and make our way over to Malak's Bastion, I think it was called. Which is going to be um, to the uh, to the east, out whoop, to the east outside of, uh, what is it, Vassar, Vassar Buntley, something like that, I think it was called. And uh, we'll see what we find on the way. <laughs>